Okay, it looks like we're stable. Looks like we're stable. All right. Hey, how's it going, guys? Eddie here on the Follow Boot channel, and today I'm going to be trying something new again. Going to be jumping back into Masterpiece VR for the second time in a while. Uh, yesterday, I ran my first live mixed reality stream here in, in uh, Masterpiece VR to test it out using uh, an old uh, an old filter for OBS. Today, I'm going to be trying out the new Live Client. Hell yeah, I want to get used to using this thing. They're about to roll out a whole bunch of bells and whistles, and uh, I want to do a whole bunch of testing and see what I need to do to get it up and running perfect before then. All right, looks like we're doing pretty good so far. We're actually, well, I haven't loaded anything yet, but uh, we're still running at under 99%, so that's actually pretty good. I think that even at this point yesterday, I was running at 99. I was already maxing it out. So, oh, I just saw, I just saw my bar go yellow there. Red didn't like that. All right, it looks like it's going to stabilize. All right, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Let's see here. Yeah, so today I'm going to be using the Live Client. I know a lot of people were interested. It's super complicated to do mixed reality the old way. Uh, I just I normally do it that way because that's the way that I'm used to. That's the way I'm. I know I can get working, and it's like the baseline for where I usually start. And then I like to see, okay, what can I get done now? <laughs> Hey, Scoop Games, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Good morning. Good afternoon, even. How are you? How are you? Hell yeah. Scoop Games, new to VR. Hell yeah. How you been doing, man? How you been doing? Get into any VR trouble yesterday after we spoke? <laughs> oh, I always love to hear new people getting into VR. It's so sweet. Yeah, because I really do. I spend so much of my time in VR because I genuinely enjoy it. I've never experienced anything else like it in my life and I want to do it as much as I can. Not only that, but I want to try to use it. I'm trying to get my box here leveled out with my floor. It doesn't look like it's going to work, but oh, that's good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, not only that though, but I want to try to start using VR on a professional level whenever I can. All right, let's see here. We're going to crank up to No, man, my my kilobytes per second keeps on dropping. Like, big time, big time. Hey, thanks for the two cheers. I appreciate it, Scoop Games. Appreciate it. So much love for the stream, man. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Dope, dope, dope. It looks like you're feeling pretty good today. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, let's see here. All right, let's try to, let's try to whip some stuff. Let's try to bring something in. This is the first thing I tested with yesterday. I'm going to, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and try to just assault the little client and mixed reality right now this usually this was where i got to yesterday with uh not using the live client and this was where i maxed out before i started hitting my resource cap on my computer which by the way i'm going to be running on an i7 8700k with a gtx 1060 6 gigabyte and 16 gigs of ddr4 ram and my htc vive yeah so that's what i'm going to be running with today on the live client and mixed reality here in masterpiece vr yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Let's check it out. Yep, and there it is in the lift client. That's the compositor that we're looking at right there. Boom. I like it. 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 Check it out. Hell yeah. Welcome to the stream, Domi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, Mother Bear. How you doing? Domi is my girl. She usually helps me. She's actually uh, in the house today, so she's going to help me out with my stream and testing it. Uh... I'm going to be looking for feedback today. So if like something's not right or I need to fix something, I'm definitely going to be looking for that feedback. Yeah. So if y'all see anything, feel free to let me know. This is a first time test using the Live Client and Masterpiece VR. I'm seeing a little bit of stutter. But this is, like I said, this is where I got to the max yesterday. And I started topping out. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and save it. But yeah, I created this little wizard dude. And look, we can shrink him down so that I can show him, like, in the palm of my hand. Look, he could be like my little wizard Pokemon. Ah, little wizard dude, I choose you. <laughs> Me and my little, I'm like, I'm like freaking here just posed with my art. That's cool. And I did this in about an hour yesterday. So I did this little wizard dude in about an hour. And now I'm just here chilling out with him in mixed reality. 
And I had no idea. This was completely freestyle. I had no idea this is what I was going to do when I started doing it. That's pretty much the way I am. I just I start I start with a general baseline idea, and then uh, I just I, I let it evolve from there. Yeah, I love art. I love art because it's the, one of the only things in my life that does not subscribe to any rule set, and it doesn't have to. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, anything, 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 anything goes. Man, I love this. I love checking it out. And the thing is, is that I realize I'm here streaming this test, but I'm also, I'm like, so I, I'm having so much fun seeing myself stand next to it in mixed reality in real time while I'm streaming it. So uh, I, like, I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is so, and I can just keep resizing it and doing whatever I want with it. Me and my boy right here, we got, we got let me see. Oh, I walked into my green screen. I got too immersed. I got too immersed right there. I walked into a wall. <laughs> I got too immersed. Oh, Scoop Games, get ready for that. Have you walked into a wall yet, Scoop Games? Oh, man. Okay, just know, dude, that you, that never goes away. I've got like over a thousand hours in VR. I just walked into a wall. You saw it happen here on my stream. I apologize. <laughs> oh, too funny. But yeah, me and my little VR wizard here. And look, it's like because of the way mixed reality works, when my arm goes around his head and over his shoulder, uh, as a matter of fact, I kind of want to stand behind this arm. Look, I'm kind of just here chilling out with him. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Let me see. Let me move it a little bit more that way, right? No, a little bit more this way. There we go. Right there. Perfect. And look, like I'm like, okay, this part of my hand is in front of him, right? But all of this part of my my hand back here and all my body, I'm just here chilling out with my sculpture. That is so cool. So, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I did a – let me go ahead and recap yesterday. I apologize. I know we're already here like seven minutes into the stream, and I'm just here dorking out over what I did yesterday. <laughs> but the thing is is that uh, – I mean, I know. I'm, not, I'm very new with Masterpiece VR. I've never done any kind of sculpting in real life or – uh, VR Masterpiece VR is is my only sco voxel sculpting app. I don't own Medium. I don't own Quill. Uh, I've only done a couple of projects, as you can see. I've only done a couple of projects in Masterpiece VR because there wasn't a whole lot of resources on how to use it better. So I started trying to make my own, and that was pretty much the limit of uh, of what I used Masterpiece VR for so far. But with that in mind, like, man, the updates that they've been pushing through to this uh, creative app have been so incredible that I wanted to start getting back into it and started using it more. I've had a chance to keep up on the VR creative Facebook page and the, and, uh, the VR sculpting page and uh, modeling pages. And uh, I see people doing such incredible works with this piece of software. And now like, I have a really good idea. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't imagine like, okay, well, where is the limit? And the thing is, is we still haven't found the limit, but I've seen how far some of these other talented artists have been able to push the envelope. Yeah, so uh, I definitely want to get back in here more and check it out. Check it out. Hey, hey welcome to the stream, Calween. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? How you doing? Checking out some Masterpiece VR here in Mixed Reality using the Live Client today. Yeah, this was a sculpture I did yesterday. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, what I'm doing here today is this new mixed reality option. It's actually been inside of Masterpiece VR since I want to say around January, January, February, somewhere around there. And uh, I asked on like the first day I saw it, I was like, I love mixed reality. Anybody who's, who's been around my channel knows I love mixed reality. Uh, to me, in my opinion, it's just for me, it's the best ways I can showcase what it's like for me to experience this VR environment from uh, through my stream. Uh, the first person view just it didn't you couldn't really see me and what I'm doing to make everything in the game happen. But through the magic of mixed reality, uh, I, I have been able to express that in my streams, if nothing else, in a way that I like to review. Uh, with that being said, the Live Client is definitely making it a whole lot easier for a lot more people, making it accessible for a lot more people. I love all the work they do over there. Yeah, so I had seen this Mixed Reality Support button, and 
uh, it didn't do anything at the time, I thought. And uh, I waited and I waited and I waited and I never saw any documentation show up. So uh, being the, the VR uh, the VR mixed reality lover that I am and the, the rebel that I am, I decided to fire it up and play with it until I got it working. Luckily, it didn't take too much. Here in uh, the Live Client, it took even less. Uh, I started using the Viver uh, software application for calibrating, and I got that actually uh, hooked up with this this morning. It took me just a couple of minutes. All right, so yeah, that's uh, let's see here. That's that's a pretty good showcase. And so far, my settings. I wanted to leave this in the scene for a couple of minutes. Sorry, that's why I've been a little chatty here, but uh, because I want to see what kind of what is what is it going to do to my system. This is a this is more of a test today than a showcase of an ability or or the software itself. Uh, I'm testing to see can I stream this? Uh, what is it gonna? How is it gonna impact my system? All right. Oh, that's always funny to see Domi walk by in a green shirt when I'm doing green screen streaming. <laughs> she like half of her body's invisible. <laughs> oh, welcome to the stream, Domi Ray. <laughs> oh, too funny, too funny. Heck yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and. Let's start trying to create something new. Now that I know that it can handle this, and I'm still running. I'm not even running at 99%. For anybody who caught the stream yesterday, I was actually running at close to 99% almost the entire stream. It might have been because I had a lot of undo uh, in the backlog by the point I got to the end of the stream yesterday. So that might have had something to do with it, but we're going to find out again today. Okay, let's go ahead and start something new. I'm going to file. Oh, and I actually exported this, but I haven't had a chance to check out the exports yet. I got real busy with real life uh, right after I ended the stream yesterday. And I watched I watched the stream from yesterday like two or three times. I'm not even going to lie. I love to watch I love to watch uh, mixed reality streams. So that's why sometimes I'll even just make my own. I'll see like, okay, what could I have done better as far as uh, – what I was doing in Masterpiece VR, like I struggled with the hands a little bit. And now I know, okay, the next time I go do hands, uh, I'm probably going to want to try to do it a different way. <laughs> and uh, so, I don't know, well, we might practice a little bit of that today. Okay, I think we're good there. Let's go ahead and get some guides going. Let's go ahead and get a mirror going. Um, all right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll go right there, get that level. Right there. Oh, but let's turn it towards the camera. And we'll bring it this way. No, this way. There we go. Oh, that's difficult. There we go. Oh, let me rotate it there. There we go. I might have my virtual camera crooked too. That's why it might be a little bit off. All right. That's going to be close enough, I think, for now. Okay, so let's get to sculpting. All right, let's see here. I kind of like that for your skin tone. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like to do character modeling. Uh, that's one of the things. I don't know. I just I love to do it. I, I don't do too much scenery. I need to get better at scenery. But uh, what the heck? Sculpt, draw. Oh, oh, nice. I didn't realize this was here. Yeah, they have the sustainable uh, sustainable city contest. I strongly urge looking more into that. If you're into masterpiece VR, if you're able to use it, man, they just want some ideas on creating, imagine and create a sustainable future. Enter a contest. They got lots of good prizes. It's sweet. It's sweet. All right. Oh well, why is that way over there? I see. Okay. Let's uh, let's try to reset everything. Huh. I don't know why that's way over there. It shouldn't be. Hmm. Is everything way over there? Yep. What is the deal with that? Okay. That's not what I'm trying to do, though. Let me try to let me try to reset the app. Maybe there's a problem with the app. Uh, 
There we go. There we go. Yep. Should anything not work, just try turning it off and turning it on again. <laughs> All right. And it looks like the lib client picked up the mixed reality composite uh, automatically. Pretty good there. Let's see. Oh, it's struggling. It's, there we go. There we go. It's going to take a second to catch up. We're pushing my GPU to the max right now. All right. Let's see here. Is it caught up yet? Sorry about the technical difficulties. I am testing this out for the first time today. All right. Oh, get some reprojection there. I know, right? Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, still getting a little reprojection here. Hmm. I might have should have let the live client open Masterpiece VR. Instead of opening it myself. But no, it seems to be working. Yeah, it seems to be working. You can still see my my digital controller there, right, Domi Ray? Yeah, uh, well, and I can still see my hands. Yep, and foreground and background. Okay, looks like we're good. I'm still getting a little reprojection here, though. I don't know what that's about. Uh, that shouldn't be happening. I mean, my GPU is still under 99%. I don't know why I'm getting this reprojection. Nope, can't deal with that. All right, let's try it again. Let's try to reset again. And if it doesn't work this time, then I'll try to launch it again using the live client, which is what I had done the first time when it was working, other than the cursor. Okay. All right, I gotta wait for the gotta wait for the composite to catch it again. Yeah, it's just that like uh, the panels were like shaking due to reprojection. It's like a performance thing. It didn't look like it was coming across in the stream, but it was affecting me in the headset. All right. Let's see here. Let's see if I can't get that composite to pick it back up. Oh no, had a live crash. Okay, let's try to uh, let's try to relaunch that. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to fix right now. All right, that fix there. Now let's see if I can fix it over here. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, and the reprojection is more or less gone. Let's see. I think my mixed reality is back as well. Yep. This is where I want to be. Okay, let's try it again. I go ahead and set up my guide, set up my mirror. The mirror is pretty good, I suppose. I probably want to turn it a little bit more that way. There we go. Perfect. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close to perfect, anyway. <laughs> yeah, you see, you can actually stand and see me standing halfway between both sides of the mirror. All right, let's try it again. Scope. Uh, I still want that. Okay, and now I got. My, now I have my cursor back where I actually wanted it. Uh, I like to start off with wireframes, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I apologize for the technical difficulties. This is the first time I'm trying to do it like this. So we kind of learn in together. And I'm not very good with Masterpiece VR yet, so it's a lot of learning. <laughs> All right, let's see.
All right. I didn't like a lot of that, but at least now I have. Now I know that I didn't like that. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I might even want to start from down here even. There we go. All right, then. That'll work. This at least gives me a good idea of what I'm trying to do. Uh, that was better like that. Okay. Lips, nose right here. And, uh, I didn't like that. And they actually have guides now. I'm just... I'm just a sketch artist, so I don't mind seeing, you know, not exactly what I was trying to do happen. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Oh, let me minimize that. Hey, welcome, Psycho Gaming Lab. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? How you doing? Checking out some Masterpiece VR in Mixed Reality today. Let's see. All right. There we go. All right, let's get some cheap right there. Boom. Nice. We'll close this up for an eye socket. Get some definition over here for that cheek. Yeah, I'm doing kind of like, uh, if you ever remember pa uh, paper mache back in school, I'm kind of doing a little like a paper mache type deal here with the wireframe. Clean that up a little bit. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right, then. Let's... All right, that'll actually work, I think. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. From the side, what are we looking at? Let's fix this from the side a little bit. A little bit thicker of a brow. I'll have the nose come out a bit more. There we go. That's looking better. That's looking better. Uh, I don't like how far this came out. So I'll go ahead and erase that. There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay, let's go ahead and start filling this in just so you guys can kind of start seeing what I'm seeing in my imagination. Hey, welcome to the stream, Cypher. How you doing? How you doing? Checking out some Masterpiece VR here in Mixed Reality today. I'm letting my VR creative side come through. Oh, no. I wanted to do different things with that mouse. Let me go ahead and leave that part open for right now. I'll do that part last. Let's go ahead and work on this brow, though. Uh, a little too far out. And really, I don't have to be working on it that high, I guess. Now that I'm working, I guess I can start just shifting it around. All right. Oh, I didn't like that last one. There we go. All right, let's start filling in the face right here. Uh, I should probably erase a lot of that because that shouldn't be that far out. That'll work, that'll work. I'm just trying to lay out a basic formation at this point and then I'll start adding features once I've got 
a general uh, layout for how I'm going to get this guy drawn. Ugh, I didn't like that. Let's make that smaller. There we go. All right, that'll work. Hmm. All right, let's start smoothing this out. Let's let's pretty it up. Oh, not enough. Not enough. Not enough volume there. Start cleaning that up a little bit. Ah, need more volume there. All right. We'll take a little bit of erase off here. Smooth that out. Give the bottom of the lip a little definition there. All right. And this is not going to be like my greatest work ever. I'm kind of just doing a test with the live client today here in uh, Masterpiece VR. Oh, well, I hope this is. I hope I get better. I hope I don't top out here in this test. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Actually, would probably want to erase a little bit more right there. Draw a little bit it's more shallow. That way I get a little bit more definition right here. All right, let's check it out. Smooth that cheek. Still going to need to fill that in some more. Hey, welcome to the stream, Fabworks too. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I recognize you from the uh, from a couple of different discords, dude. How you doing? I believe we're on the standout discord as well. I think that's where we probably see each other the most. Checking out some masterpiece VR and mixed reality today, though. Trying to get uh, trying to scratch that creative itch. I'm gonna make that brow a little thicker. All right, and we'll smooth all this stuff out. Hell yeah, doing good. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, it's afternoon here in the States. Uh, freaking trying to get some of this creative juices running to get my day going. And I tried this out with Mixed Reality yesterday uh, without the Live Client, and uh, it went pretty okay. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it out today with the live client, which is a lot. It's a lot more accessible way to do mixed reality for a lot of people. So I know there was a few people that were going to be interested if it would even work. I was actually one of those people. Well, now we know it does. We are mainly doing standout, but this seems very creative. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. I know. I'm not the greatest artist at this yet. I've only actually to tell you the truth. I think I have. Yeah, I have 34 hours in this app, but it's mostly been doing tests and tutorials and and learning the tools and trying to uh, experiment with some of the with some of the techniques that I've seen a lot of the other V artists use. Yeah, so I'm always I'm always learning. I'm always learning. Always learning. All right, let's see here. That's that's good enough, I think, for now. I need to fix this mouth. This mouth needs to something needs to happen here. I am lips are like my kryptonite. I might as well just make this huge because I have no clue what I'm gonna do here. All right, let's. Uh, I guess we should probably build it up some more. Probably be the easiest thing to do. Yeah, lips are like my freaking kryptonite. I just, I cannot do them. I mean, in like in traditional art, uh, traditional art methods, 
oh yeah, I do lips all day, but I don't know. And sculpting, I just, I don't know. I, I must, there's something that's lost in translation, I guess. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I might. Okay, but now I can smooth it down. Okay. There we go. There we go. Clean that up. Clean all that up. And I have a feeling that this stuff back over here is happening because of my uh, my resolution. Uh, how far do those? Yep, he's got duck face. Nope, we're going to have to shrink all of that down. Let's start skimming some off the top. But now I can smooth it into the rest. There we go. I need to yeah, take down that duck face. Take down that duck. Or I can fill it in up here so it doesn't look so duck face-ish. <laughs> oh, okay. My and Domi Ray in uh in the stream and in-house lets me know that duck face is actually pretty popular right now, so that I should consider leaving it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree to disagree on this one. But uh, we'll definitely keep it in mind for future endeavors. Oh, that nose actually came out okay. Okay, let's get this smoothed up right here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> damn, I wish I... Oh, Cypher says, damn, I wish I had artistic talent. Hey, Cypher, yeah, I don't know if you're into any kind of VR, dude, but like... Uh, man, artistic talent these days, it's, it's pretty much what it like, uh, there's so many different ways to get creative. That's kind of one of the things I liked about masterpiece VR is I'm actually a traditional, uh, I'm a traditional, a traditional sketch artist. And so, you know, when it comes to 3d modeling, I do have a background in 3d modeling. It's just not something, uh, that came very easy. I had to work very hard at it. And, uh, but this gives me at least some way to get my foot in the door with an easier way of 3D modeling. And it's just using my hands. You know what I mean? Like, it's very, very intuitive. I know you can see me here kind of just in mixed reality and through my first-person perspective. I'm kind of just, you know, using my hands to flesh this out. And uh, and this is only the second time I've used this thing since January, so I'm not very good with this software. I've had a chance to check out a lot of the other V artists on the Facebook Creatives page, uh, and they've given me a lot of good advice that I've definitely taken in, but I haven't actually had a chance to practice with any of it. So uh, because I, I I adore I adore mixed reality. I adore mixed reality for its capability of expressing what it's like to be in VR. And with that being said, uh, I like to do most of my streaming in mixed reality if I can. But now that I can do mixed reality, because uh, the thing is, is that it's not just a gimmick. It's not just a gimmick. And, I, and I, I'm so glad, actually, I, I thought to say this today because I know people are like, oh, he probably just likes mixed reality because of mixed reality. No, it's not just a gimmick. For me, myself, you can go back and check some of my earlier works on YouTube from like last year. Some of the, my very first content that I ever created in VR was uh, V artistry. I was doing 3D modeling. I was doing this, as a matter of fact. Uh, I have some other projects here that I was working on. You can see here. And I was mostly just trying to do asset creation for my own video games. I actually have a degree in video game design. I know how to do Unity really well. I'm pretty proficient with C Sharp. And so I was making my own games. But the thing is, is that uh, there was not a lot of information on these creative apps back then. Uh, luckily, we have these great Facebook pages today, but they just they weren't they weren't there back then. And so what I was doing was I was creating my own tutorials on every, whenever I would learn how to do something in VR, I would make a tutorial for myself because I have a horrible memory. And so I would make a tutorial for myself and that way I could teach myself how to do it. And that way I wouldn't forget. And if I did forget, okay, well I could go back and check my own tutorial that's, it was in a language that I, that I understood because it was me giving the presentation 
and uh and yeah so the thing is is that to that end with that in mind mixed reality it that i like i can actually see like uh, say say if i did do something incredible today right and then by tomorrow morning i completely forgot how i did it uh the thing is, is even if i had just the first person perspective stream how i used to do it it would still just be like if you you have to imagine without the mixed reality box there but it would just be from my first person perspective like this and it doesn't show much because i can't see my hand i can't see my arm but right now you can see i'm standing up in my space and I'm moving, lifting my, I'm working with it at about eye height level and I'm working with it with my hands and I'm, I know I'm, I'm taking this extra level because I'm streaming it and I'm trying to make a good presentation for the camera as well, but it's not just for the viewer, it's for myself too. When I go to review this, I want to know exactly how I was doing something and uh, mixed reality is the only thing that lets me get that deep into it. Yeah, so if anybody is ever curious, that that's why that's why I love mixed reality so much. That's why I try to get everything recorded that I do in mixed reality. I want to remember not only, you know, not only what did I look like in real life while it was happening, not only what did I look like in the digital uh when it was happening, but also uh what did I look like with those two things combined, the digital and the real. And uh, I think that's an, you know I think that's a pretty incredible concept. Okay, now that I've gotten a pretty good, let's start let's start smoothing this out now. <laughs> I love this smooth tool. It's just like it's like okay, you're gonna we're gonna take your your junk and we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it with one button. <laughs> and what it's doing is it's it's calculating and averaging out the surfaces. So uh, actually, I don't like those cheeks. Are those cheeks okay? I feel like those cheeks need to be a little bit more, a little bit more, right? No, maybe not. I don't want to, yeah, maybe a, maybe just a little bit. Oh, and then we'll smooth that out. No, maybe a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, and then we'll smooth that out. There we go. Yeah, and that's pretty sweet. And then look, it's it's a little, it's a, it's a mask. I can wear it like a mask. Part that, oh, that that's actually a really good fit. That's actually a really good fit. I like that. All right. That's pretty cool. <laughs> How does this app compare to Tilt Brush? Hey, I actually have Tilt Brush, and I was planning to do some Tilt Brush and Mixed Reality as well. Uh, for me, in my opinion, okay, this is this is I like both of them. First of all, I'll start off by saying I love Tilt Brush, I, and I love Masterpiece VR, and for different reasons. So this is how I would compare them. They don't compare very well. <laughs> so uh, the thing is, is that okay? Here in Masterpiece VR, what you would if you if you have Tilt Brush, what you might be used to is uh, stuff like the brushes, and so they do have a few brushes here in uh, the like material brushes. For example, here's like a, a basic brush. Here's an unlit brush, which is basically just that. Uh, it's the same thing as that. It's just not taking the the scene lighting into effect. Then we got like this soft brush, which I actually like that a lot. Probably my favorite one. Then we got like this blob brush. And then we got like this. Oh, can, yeah, I'm, oh no, I'm not even in the mixed reality. <laughs> Let me drag this over here. Yeah, then we got like, uh, let's see here. That spike brush. And then we got like this water brush. I like that water brush. That's pretty tight. Ghost brush, probably one of my favorites. And this fur brush, which is good for hair. I'm probably going to use it on him here in a minute. So, okay, that's pretty much what they have, right? But uh, as far as brushes go for now. But the thing is, is um, so Tilt Brush definitely has better brush options. But 
this is volume there that's why i almost say like it's almost kind of like comparing apples and oranges because uh tilt brush is very very good at like the painting side of creative apps but if you want to create something volumetric if you're trying to make like a sculpture for a 3d model or like an actual 3d printable a sculpture, then Masterpiece VR is going to take the lead there. This is actual vo uh, voxel, vo uh, voxel volumetric 3D modeling. So everything I do here, uh, because I know in Tilt Brush, you can also export your stuff to Poly, and it's an actual 3D model that you can have it run through the Poly support straight into Unity so that I can use my Tilt Brush assets in my Unity game design. But this actually has options for like exporting to OBJ, FBX, STL, and then this new one, GLTF. I'm not too familiar with that one. But uh, yeah, I can export this as a like as a sculpture and then go back and do my retopology in Blender. Or I actually have a VR 3D modeling app called uh, Virto Studio. VR. It's a port over from an AR app. It's pretty good. It's still a little rough. It still uses a lot of the AR interface instead of uh, optimized VR interfaces. But uh, yeah, I mean, basically, I can take this model that I'm doing in voxel volumetric uh, 3D modeling, and I can retopologize it in some external uh, external program and have it be a, a legit 3D model. I've actually done that. As a matter of fact, I think I have uh some videos on my youtube series about it yeah yeah so that that's how i would compare these two is that they they don't they don't compare very well it is almost like apples and oranges they both let me access different uh facets of my creative side oh man i, I need to build this up a little bit more back here all right let's actually do that boom because i'm gonna want to have not like that Okay, let's see here. Oh. Nope, I don't like that. There we go, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so like, okay, so, okay, I, and I, I, I just thought of something else, another difference between Masterpiece VR and uh, Tilt Brush. Tilt Brush, I like to think of Tilt Brush as my... 3d vr sketchbook like i can just go in there and just whap 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 just just paint out stuff and it doesn't have to make sense and it doesn't have to it doesn't have to look objectively good to another person because what i'm doing in the vr space combined with my own imagination and mental image uh it kind of fills in the gaps and so i can manifest something into virtual reality really quickly that way but if I'm going to do something for more of a professional um, level, like for like a – not professional level, but more of a 3D model, uh, I might do it in here instead because this actually gives me like – it's very, very hard to paint closed uh, surfaces. You know what I mean? In tilt brush. So that would be another – that would be another difference I would say between the two. Sorry if I'm explaining that that poorly. I've never actually thought about it, to tell you the truth, because <laughs> I I know that I use them for different reasons, but I've never nobody's ever actually asked me, hey, well, what are those reasons? <laughs> I appreciate the question. I appreciate the question, Faborgs uh, too. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. I'm horrible at that. <laughs> yeah, feel free to give me a phonetics if you'd like for if you'd like to correct me. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the stream, Brick Army, and take it easy. Hey, Slow Cool, how you doing? Slow Cool, how you doing? Good afternoon. All right, I do. Now Now that I have that a little bit better, I want to smooth it out some more. And this smooth tool just lets me do that. I love it. All right, so yeah, look, and then we can see. Oh, I need to move the lighting, I think. Because when it's back over here, oh, no, that actually does look pretty cool. Let me work at it from this angle. All right, let's smooth this out. Okay, I think that's pretty good for getting a general idea. Let's go ahead and flesh out the rest of the head.
uh, what right here? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's smooth it out. Let's smooth it all together. Oh, I do. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm a smoker. Maybe got him. I'm a smoker. I get I get real intense when I'm when I'm accessing the creative side of my brain, and I tend to smoke to relieve that stress. <laughs> Apologize. I know it's a bad habit. All right, let's see here. There we go. All right. Shoot. We just developed the head like really fast right there. Okay. Well, let's try to develop the neck a little bit. Let's change the shape of our tool. Let's go down to cylinder. Oh, and this is another difference between a uh, tilt brush and, uh, well, maybe it's not a difference, but maybe it's even a similarity because I know they have their guides. Uh, Masterpiece VR just got their guides as well, but I like these different shape tools. Uh, Google Blocks actually has the different shape tools as well. I enjoy those very, very much. Very, very much. Um, I don't like where that is, so let's go ahead and fix it. As a matter of fact, let's make this smaller so that I can get it more in my eye, my eye line. Check your Discord, my dude. Oh, sorry about that. Can't stay working. Oh, hey, cutie pop. You can't stay, man. I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by to say hi, bro. Hell yeah, another friend from the THG crew. Definitely check him out. He does a lot of streaming as well. Hell yeah. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. And I will definitely check my Discord here in just a second. As a matter of fact, let me check it right now. Smoke, I'm a big guy. Let me make sure. I might, I might be bombing. <laughs> like if something's going wrong, I definitely want to know about it. Zap. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Hell yeah, cutie pop. I just had to I just had a chance to catch a little bit of that. I don't know if you're still in the stream, but uh but yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Appreciate it. Appreciate the heads up. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate it. All right, let me go ahead and fix this stuff back up. Okay, so for those of you in the stream, I know it's been going a little bit slow right now because the thing is is that I've been trying to do this head uh, like symmetrical, but as soon as I get this neck done, we're about to go off the reservation. We're going to go rogue. <laughs> I'm going to start sketching out the rest of the body just freehand, and uh, I might – I'm not – fair heads up. Please feel free to get my attention. Sometimes when I start zoning out um, – I don't even exist. <laughs> so, yeah, please feel free to bring me back. <laughs> I apologize in advance if that happens. It's one of the things I'm worried about when I stream creatively is that uh, I used to do it with no viewers back in the day for my tutorial series, so I, uh, I never worried about it. But mm, now I got, a lot, I got a lot of friendly people dropping by, and I definitely don't want you guys to feel ignored. You guys mean so much to me for real. You guys, for real, you guys here in the stream, I'd like to take this opportunity, seriously, I'd like to take this opportunity to really, from the cockles of my heart, say thanks. Because you guys here in the stream, you guys come and check me out, and you guys are the only ones that I can actually like talk to that actually get it. Uh, there's a lot of people in reality that uh, it's the VR still hasn't hit mainstream yet, so they don't know a lot about it, they don't get it when i talk to him i get a lot of blank stares so i really appreciate all the feedback the comments the questions the funny stories the good company and the overall great conversations thank you so much for real that's what i appreciate the most all right let's go ahead and i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and try to kick back out of the out of the gushing mode now i really did though i've, I've been meaning to take some time to really uh, express that. And I'm a pretty friendly guy. If you've ever met me in VR, like chances are we had a good conversation. We had a good time. Hey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who went offline? I went offline. 
am I still streaming right now? I think I'm still streaming. Yeah, I'm still at 50 minutes. You might just have to refresh, Domi. <laughs> Maybe like Twitch saw me gushing and they're like, oh no, we got to pull the plug. He's getting too into his feels right now. <laughs> He's getting way too into his feels right now. We got to throttle him back. <laughs> there we go. No, no. Okay, no. Fabworks2 says I'm still here. Yeah, you might have to refresh, Dome. Oh, yeah. Check out my YouTube channel over there. I'm Falaboo at YouTube as well. I'm Falaboo everywhere. I'm Falaboo on Steam, Falaboo on YouTube, Falaboo on Twitter. Get at your boy. Get at your boy. Oh, I hit the wrong tool. Okay, smooth. Smooth that out. All right. And I know that that jawline is way too defined. That's why I'm trying to smooth it out now. I'm probably going to have to fill in a little bit more back here and smooth that out, smooth it all together. All right, that's pretty tight. I like that. This is probably actually one of the best looking heads I've done so far. All right, there we go. I know that jawline, it's crazy. It's crazy, but... I'm going to leave it there because I can always take away. It's a little bit harder to add back. No, you know what? I'm going to just smooth it out a little bit more. Boom. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. All right. It's still a little bit alienish back here. But I was kind of going for the jaw box line, and you'll see why in a minute. This guy's supposed to be tough. He's supposed to be tough. So we're going to leave that strong, that strong jaw line. All right, now I'm going to work on the ear, but to work on the ear, I'm actually going to make this a lot bigger, and I'll bring it in Mixed Reality so you can see what I'm doing, because I know some people were struggling with ears here in Mixed Reality, uh, in, in uh, Masterpiece VR. All right, well, I start with that part of the ear, and I actually did take anatomy and physiology for fun in college. It wasn't actually a part of my degree plan. I just uh, I had a couple of hours to fill, and so I took anatomy and physiology, so I spent a lot of time studying the human body. I think that definitely helps in uh, in 3D modeling. Mm. There we go. I can't hear your talking replies, by the way. Working on the phone. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let me let me go and respond back to him. There we go. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. There we go. All right, that ear is not, it's looking a little monkeyish. No, it looks about right. It looks about right. Let's see if we, let's, let's start filling it in. Let's start filling it in. Oh, I mean, dude, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I think I was. Oh, yeah, I changed the color. <laughs> All right, draw. I was I was on the menu is what happened. All right, now we'll smooth that out, but only here on. Uh, this is the back of the ear, so like nobody will really ever see this, but. I will know how jacked up it is, so I'm going to try to do my best to not have it so jacked. <laughs> and the thing is, is the reason I'm filling it in more back here is uh, because I want to hollow it out from the front. And in order to do that, you need to have some volume in the back or uh, you'll start it'll, uh, the, vo uh, the voxels will become too thin. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now I will, and that's the reason I pulled this so far out is because uh, I wanted to add more depth around the ridge of the ear. That's too much, too much depth. 
There we go. That's much better. That's that's what I was going for right there. And we'll smooth that out. And like I said, it's just averaging the, the all of the surfaces. That's what the smooth does. Exactly what I want it to do. Average out these surfaces, take out some of the bumps. And there, some of this pixelation right here, it's because my resolution is low. Uh, I am streaming on an i7-8700K with a GTX 1066 gigabyte, so my resources are limited, uh, especially even more so my my rig gets even more taxed. My rig gets even more taxed when um, I'm streaming. So yeah, it's already it takes a lot to be able to 3D model in VR, and it takes even more to be able to stream it, and then it takes even more to be able to stream it in um, mixed reality. So yeah, there's that. Okay, let's build up a little bit more of this definition in the ear. There's that, and there's like. No, like that part right there. And then we'll smooth that out. And that's good enough for now. People will be able to tell that's an ear, I think, based on that. All right, that's, that's, that uh, will shave that down a little bit as well. There we go. There we go. We'll average this all out. Uh, I actually erased a lot of that. So we will build this up over here is what we'll do to average it out. There we go. That's better. That's better. That's much better, actually. Uh, he's looking a little monkeyish, but it's okay. It's okay. This is just an experiment trying to see how much volume I can put in here before I max out my system while streaming. That way I'll have a good idea when I'm pre-planning projects to do for my next streams um, here on the creative side. I uh, will know, okay, like I, that's too much. I can't build a freaking city in VR, but maybe I can build the individual pieces and then maybe I can scale them all down to a resolution, uh, to a lower resolution and have them displayed all together you know, so that that's kind of what I'm testing today. All right, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Let's make it bigger so you guys can see it in the mixed reality as well. Boom. Oh, that was a pretty cool little turn right there, right? Oh, that's that's cool. That's cool. I like that. We'll go back the other way as well. I'm having the time of my life and i owe it all to you <laughs> it's so romantic spinning around with my model like that <laughs> too funny too funny all right let's go ahead and start now we're gonna go off script well first of all yeah we're gonna go off script we're gonna go off uh we're gonna go off mirror no grids we got the head. Let's go ahead and save it here in case I jack this up beyond repair. We'll go ahead and save that. It's probably my best head I've done so far. I don't know what it's going to do. I've never saved on stream before. I probably just tacked the crap out of my rig. <laughs> it probably did. All right, all right. Okay, so there's the head. Um, I feel like maybe we should lift that head up. Okay. Let's go ahead and select all of that. And cut. There we go. Did you reply in your Twitch chat? Sorry, dude. Didn't get your uh, Discord mate. Just hate to keep bothering your stream. I have sound on this moment uh i replied here i said i only got to read a little bit of it but i am down thanks for the heads up it sounds good all right let's see here where is that box okay i'm having a little bit of trouble seeing that white box against that white floor Okay, cool. When you can take a break and hit it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. 
Dude's really cool. Sounds good. Hell yeah. All right, let's see here. Let's get this up closer to the top so I have some room to work. All right, yeah, and I just made a little stamp there. I mean, really, I could have made like two. But not this time, not this time. Okay, now let's make this a little bit bigger. All right. I DM me on Discord, my dude. Very cool stuff. Hey, Cutie Pop, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for everything, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the heads up. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for saying hi. Hell yeah, you have a good day, man. You have a good day at work. Oh, thanks, man. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for all the cheering. Woo! My boy Cutie Pop showing the stream some love. Hell yeah, I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hell yeah, and you guys, you guys in the stream, definitely get out of my boy Cutie Pop. His crew there from THG, and uh, he's into a lot of the same stuff. We're into a lot of the same stuff all the time, all the time. You like what I'm doing, that's a pretty good chance you're going to like what he's doing. We hang out doing the same stuff all the time. <laughs> that's what he's actually doing right now. He's giving me a heads up on something else that we should do together. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get ah, this head. I feel like it should have been even more, so I'm going to make it even more. It should have been a little bit higher. It's a, it looks a little bit too Cro-Magnum. Mm. Right there. Oh, that looks even worser. <laughs> oh, get rid of the. Oh, wait. Okay, let's go back. Let's do it again. Maybe if I do it from the top. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, but I need to see how high is it. Uh, oh, well. You know what? I'll fix it with hair. Let's fix it with hair. As a matter of fact, I want to draw some other stuff on it first anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go click over to red. We're going to go to a, a basic brush. We'll shrink it a little, or we'll make this bigger, yeah, like that. And I really want this, I want like a headband here. Oh, too big, too big. All right, there we go. Oh, and I probably should have done this with mirroring on again. Oh, well. Oh, well, you know what? We're going to freestyle. It's all hand-drawn at this point anyway. Boom. Yeah, and now you can see you can start seeing some of that tilt brush to skill coming in. I'm kind of just doing that like a VR sketching in in space. Like, okay, I can turn the model any which way that I want and start building based on that. Start checking it out from a couple of different angles. There we go. Starting to look good. Starting to look good. All right, that's a little that's a cool little headband. Fill in the back a little bit more. Get this little ball back here. Like a ribbon. All right, now let's do some hair. Let's go with fur. We'll go with black hair. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. I'm actually, I probably should have left the mirroring on. It would have been a lot less work. <laughs> oh, well, live and learn. Do the hair after. I mean, do the hair before.
All right, there we go. And then I'll just start filling in the gaps over here. Oh, yeah, follow me on Twitter. That's where you're going to get all of my up-to-date notifications. I'm a very random streamer. I'm not very professional at all. I do this for fun in my spare time. Uh, but that's where you can get a hold of me or find out what I'm up to. I post all my day-to-day -day notifications there. How come it's not going bigger? There we go. That's what I wanted. Got to make it bigger. Huh. Okay, it's because it's got to bend somewhere. All right, and I know, I know this. He, I'm, I'm putting in hair plugs here, but it's because uh, I'm gonna fill in. I'm gonna just putting this excess out on the top, and then I'm gonna fill in the gaps with like just a layer of black hair. He's not gonna look like hair plugs for too much longer now. There we go. There we go. No, too long, too long over there. And it's almost like I'm just combing his hair at this point. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna have some uh, hair down here to fill in. All right, now I'm gonna put just a massive layer I'm going to do these going this way, but then I'm going to, just to cover the head, I'm going to do a big old just one just rat. Oh, man, it, it just did a... Oh, I want a thicker line, big old thick line. Here we go. No, it got thinner. How come it got thinner? <laughs> Let's see here. All right, here we go. Let's see. There we go, much better. Okay. Just to fill in some of the gaps so we don't see so much of the skin tone coming through the hair. There we go. All right, that's a little bit better. This too, though. I'm just trying to put a base layer of black under here to cover the head. Ah, uh, that didn't look right. Let's do it this way. There we go. That's looking much better. All right, I'm gonna have to fill that in. Nope, didn't like that. Paint the head, pretty much. All right, I just painted the head. I should have probably painted the head first and then added hair, but oh well, and now we'll fix it. I'll look at it from the side. Oh, that looks horrible. Let's fix that. We'll fix the shape of his head with his hair. Yeah, I didn't like that line there. Go ahead and do it again. Better, better.
that piece of hair sticks out a little bit too far over here. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. All right, there we go. Got my little, I got my little dude there with his bandana. I should probably make these, uh, these a little thicker now, though, considering how thick that hair is. Oh, I don't know why it goes so small. I don't know how to do that better. There we go. That's better, I guess. All right. Uh, let's get him some eyeballs. It's a little creepy seeing him with no eyeballs. Well, we'll try. I don't know how this is going to work out. We'll try, though. Oh, yeah. All right, let's make it bigger. Uh, I don't have enough resolution for eyeballs. Oh, well. I tried. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. All right. Let's go ahead and sketch out the rest of this dude's body. All right. He will end up having clothes, but I may end up sketching him without clothes at first. Just a heads up. He won't be Spartan for very long. All right. Let's go ahead and do some body definition. Mm. Oh, you know what? Now that I have all of this together, let me try to select everything. There we go. Let's try to cut. Nope. Undo. It won't let me select everything at the same time, I guess. Oh, well. Oh, well. I wish I could save it all as a... Yeah, the brushes won't. The brushes won't do it. All right, all right, all right, all right. It won't be solid. Okay, well, let's try to build around it then. Well, shoot, if it's just gonna if it's just gonna be straight, I probably should have left mirroring on. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. Let's try it anyway. Let's try it anyway. I probably have to change. I can change the orientation of the neck, I suppose. Let's do that. I can make it like it's twisted. Oh, yeah. I can see it. I can see it happening now. Huh. I might not have enough space. I need to make it smaller. He can't be too, too ripped. <laughs> make him a waste. Okay. some legs. Actually, let's make a uh, pelvis. And now we'll start drawing some legs. That's cool. That'll work. All right. 
Okay, that'll work too. So that's the bottom of my bounding box. All right, let's start filling this in. Well, turn this like this. There we go. I'm trying to give a little bit of definition to the legs, just to, I like, I, I personally like using wireframes in VR modeling. All right, yeah, you can start seeing how the legs are gonna be now, right? All right, let's do something with the arms now. Mm, as a matter of fact, let's erase some of this. Now that I know where the floor is at, I can make the arms proportional. There we go. Let's get some let's get some muscles. Let's get some muscles on this dude. As a matter of fact, I kinda wanna do which arm do I want to do first? I guess I'll do this arm first. I was already doing it. I'll start out with the shoulder. I will make a ball for that muscle. Ball for this back muscle. No, not good. <laughs> undo, undo, undo. All right, let me just draw it out instead. That's what I was planning to do anyway. All right, here we go. There we go. Much better. That's elbow right there. Okay, let's close that up. There we go. Hey, Yam, Yam Case, I appreciate it. Appreciate the follow. Yam, how you doing? How you doing? Or Case, is it Case, Casey? Sorry about that. Thanks for the follow. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Checking out some Masterpiece VR and Mixed Reality today using the Lib Client. Going pretty good so far, I think. Had a few little hiccups there in the beginning. Going pretty good. Modeling just something derpy today and kind of just testing the stream. Feel free to hit me with any comments or uh, questions you might have. I recognize the name from somewhere. I'm sure we're on a Discord together. I just, I'm sorry, I have terrible memory. I can't remember which one. <laughs> All right, then let's go. Let's get this done. Mm, I really don't like that. That part right there. There, that's better. There we go. All right, now we don't have to we don't have to have it so small. Now we can just start filling it in. I like to make it big when I'm filling it in. All right, this is like under the forearm, so it's kind of a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker. Got elbow right here. Oh yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for showing up to the stream today. It's, I'm not very great at 3D modeling. I'm kind of just doing a test. I, I've got some experience here in Masterpiece VR, but definitely not as much as some of the other talented artists that I've seen around, for sure. I like to derp, though. I like to derp. Okay. We 
I'm going to smooth all that out. And we're probably going to have to do a whole bunch more smoothing down here over on the forearm. Have you tried Google Blocks? I haven't tried Google Blocks yet. As a matter of fact, uh, Google Blocks and Tilt Brush are – oh, I have had a chance to te test Tilt Brush, and Tilt Brush worked in mixed reality. Uh, Google Blocks is all, the only one left on my list of my favorite VR creative apps that I haven't tested yet. Have you tested Google Blocks yet? I'm interested. I have actually done well. I mean, uh, I've I have tried Google Blocks. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have uh, a poly page with a lot of my Google Blocks uh, modeling there. I just haven't tried it in mixed reality yet. That's what I meant by I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I've actually I've actually created some uh, some some Unity assets in Google Blocks. I used it. Oh, you used it for some models in your games as well. Let me actually throw. Let me throw because I did. Uh, it wasn't so great, but I'll go ahead and throw it in the chat right now. Uh, let me show you what I was working with. Uh, let me go to my poly page real quick. Yeah, I shit. If you want to talk about that, I've actually done some uh some assets for my unity game using vr and including animations and re retopology all right let's see here let's go to my page my profile all right i'm about to throw my poly page up in the chat right now feel free to check it out and uh i will let me send a link real quick of the the game assets that I was talking about, they were very very low poly starter game design uh, game graphics, but I had a lot of fun making them, and I can actually see them being used in my project as a uh, starter block models. Oh yeah, uh, sorry about that. I don't know how to turn off the auto mod. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to turn off the auto mod for links, uh, but definitely feel free to shoot me a PM. And I'll definitely check it out. But yeah, I do a lot of the, I've done a lot of tutorials on, I actually have a, a YouTube series uh, on my YouTube channel that it covers making VR inside out. It's actually called Making VR Inside Out, where I started out making a game from within VR. Uh, originally, I got good with Modbox. I like Modbox. It got me back into game design. Uh, so then I started using the poly pipeline to get stuff from Tilt Brush and Google Blocks into Unity because uh, I have actually have a lot of experience with uh, the Unity XR tools. I've been waiting. I've been testing that throughout its beta for about a year or so. But yeah, it's all it's all it's all it's all awesome. It's all awesome. I love it. 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 Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, I've gotten some of my works from here in Masterpiece VR into uh into unity that's also on my on my youtube page my one contribution is a two meter 3d ruler for bringing objects on a one-to-one -one scale and rotated correctly in unity nice 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 oh i'm in vr so that's actually not gonna show up but uh my poly page but yeah i threw those links down in the stream feel free to check it out for sure There we go. Okay, we're back. Yeah, that's sweet though. Yeah, my, my little contribution was trying to help people learn about, hey, there's these VR softwares. You're a VR developer, like use some of these VR apps to create your VR games. Like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> it's so much fun. It's pretty efficient. And uh, and it lets you see in real time space, you know, like uh, the the scale of these things, like how much scale matters. All right, smoothing all this stuff out now. Oh, I keep forgetting to fill that in more. Right there, I need to give this some volume. Is what it is. There's this empty space in here. All right, hopefully it didn't bulge out anywhere too much. All right, still looks good. Let's do some smoothing, do some smoothing. 
Awesome. Low poly armor. Yeah, dude, it was, I mean, like I said, I, I'm not a super pro at it or anything. Like, it was just for fun. I think I did it in a couple of days and I did it on stream to show people how I was doing it. Like, so that not saying, not like bragging, like, oh, hey, look at, look at what I did. But like more saying, hey, I'm a nobody and I have almost little to no experience. And look at look at what I did with just a little bit of time and the will. Uh, if you are a professional, imagine what you could do. And, you know, that, so that, that was pretty much the message. But uh, but yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually do have a degree in game design, but uh, straight out of college, I, I took my professional career into just a, a more broad graphic design. But my my passion for game design never left me. So I I know I may never end up finishing anything, but uh, that doesn't stop me from waking up a lot of mornings wanting to create stuff that I want to play with in a game <laughs> that like I want to play with. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I keep coming back to it. I keep coming back to it. I never give up. If nothing else, I very much enjoy the experience of of, uh, of just derping around here trying to create stuff. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing. Uh, there's no such thing as a finished game. Oh, there no truer words have ever been smoking, spoken. I appreciate that. Yeah, no truer words have ever been smoking either. <laughs> uh, too funny. Too funny. All right, let, I'm gonna shave away some of that. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and fill in some of this shoulder. There we go. There he's got some freaking muscle definition too. Go ahead and just smooth it out a bit though. Smooth it into the arm just a little. Oh, that's still really ugly back there. I'm gonna smooth that out a lot. I'm a big fan of this smooth tool. Big fan. Big fan. All right, the inside of the arm has to get shaved down like a lot. All right, there we go. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get another ball going. Let's get a ball joint right here. Boom. Ball joint. Sweet. <laughs> oh, it's actually not coming out too bad. I had no idea. This is all freestyle. This is off the reservation. I've never planned this before. I've never tried this before. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm kind of just derping around for the very first time because I'm testing out uh, Masterpiece VR with the live client today. All right. But I'm, I'm super happy with it. Like, I'm super happy with everything. I'm happy with the, the stream seems stable. Let me check my resources over here. Yeah, this, even at 99%, the stream seems stable. Everything seems pretty decent. Yeah. So I know a lot of people yesterday had seen uh, my content of, on using uh, mixed reality here in Masterpiece VR for the very first time. And a lot of people were asking if I, if I had tried it with the live client yet, and I hadn't. But uh, I, I know that the live client guys weren't the ones that worked on implementing this version of Masterpiece VR. So I wasn't sure if it was going to work with their client right off the bat. But it actually did. It actually did. So... For those of you people who are asking me, you know, does Masterpiece VR work with the live client? I can now tell you, at least for the last hour and 30 minutes, with the exception of a few little, few little hiccups. Yeah, for the most part, for sure. Go and try it out yourself. Make some tutorials for me to follow to get better at what I want to do. <laughs> so I don't have to noob around trying to figure it all out. There we go better all right we're gonna get some right here i know i know i know i know that doesn't normally go like that we'll build it up a little bit more right there but it, it, they can i think i think yeah your clavicles can bend back like that when you're really stretching far oh and like i do i have a i have a i have a little bit of a background in blender as well 
And so just the oh, anybody who's ever done any kind of like traditional 3D modeling knows that like this to be able to see this and look, I'm gonna rotate it around like that, and I'm gonna come under it like that. I'm gonna look at it like that, dead in the eye. And I'm gonna look at it from the back of the head. And I'm gonna check them out right there and look, just toss it around and oh, like try to do that in Blender, yo. Like it's not that easy. <laughs> No joke. It's not that easy. <laughs> oh, too funny. Too funny. I got jokes. I got jokes. All right. Let's see here. Oh, no. I did. I need a right there like that and like that. Uh, no. This is actually supposed to go more. Right there. Better. That'll work. At least if nothing else, it looks like it. It looks like it belongs. And that's good enough for me for now. And then I'll smooth all that stuff out in a minute. Let me finish getting everything. I want to make sure my proportions are going to be proper. Hmm. Okay, that looks pretty good. But, you know what? I'm probably going to want to finish this hand. Let me go ahead and finish this hand. Sweet. Now let's just go ahead and fill this stuff in. Actually, no. That is not sweet. That is not where that goes. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that'll work. Now we'll start filling it in. Make it huge. I like to make stuff really big when I work on it. That way I don't have to be so... Because the thing is, is that with the mouse and keyboard, you 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 have to be precise for like a long time. And I'm just not a fan of that. I've been doing this stuff, you know, I've been working on computers since, shoot, I don't know. Like actually building computers and doing data, pro, uh, data entry on computers for about 20, 25 years, something like that. And no, man, I don't want to be at a keyboard anymore. I don't want to be at a keyboard and mouse anymore. Don't do it. Give me a way to not do it. <laughs> Even if you're telling me, okay, it's a brand new technology and you're going to have to learn everything you learned all over again in new and interesting ways. Hey, sign me up. That's why I'm here. <laughs> all right, that's some palm for you. Let's smooth some stuff out. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and uh, erase a little bit in here. And then we'll smooth it out. I know when it's super big like this, you can't really tell what I'm doing. All right, there we go. Let's shrink it back down to size. Or maybe you can. I don't know. And the mixed reality might be giving that benefit. All right, let's see here. Hand that up. Hand that up. Give me so give me five nucks right here. No, smaller. Or four nucks right there. Uh didn't like that. Let me smooth this stuff out first. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, now we'll do the four nucks right here. All 
I will fill, we'll fill these in. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna, ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll fill these in here. There we go. Hey, welcome back to the stream, man. Welcome back to the stream, Fabborg. How are you doing? Sorry if I mispronounce your name. I I'm genuinely trying. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, now one last part of the hand to fill in. Back over here, that'll work. And then I'm gonna start working on fingers. There we go. That way they don't look so circular right there. All right, now let's get some fingers going. Mm, do I want cylinders? As a matter of fact, that hand does, it looks a little too thick. Let's erase some off the top. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and cube erase. Boom. Better, better. All right, let's fix that. Uh, yeah, hey, welcome to the stream, Trilogy369. How you doing? Checking out some uh, Masterpiece VR and Mixed Reality today for the first time with, uh, with a live client. As a matter of fact, I didn't like that. I'll go ahead and fill it in with volume. All right, that should be better. Let's go ahead and smooth that out. Oh yeah, I got some commands there in my in my chat bot. Feel free to check any of those out. I don't think I have any yet for Masterpiece VR, which I should probably add my poly page, like uh, exclamation mark poly. I should probably add that one for when I'm doing creative streams. That way people can check out my previous works as well. All right, that's looking a little bit more like a palm. Oh, smooth. Went rogue. All right, let's see what we can do here with the fingers. As a matter of fact, I want to do them like this. There we go, like this. All right, those look a little jank, but hands are not my forte. I'm not even going to pretend like I'm a professional at doing hands here in Masterpiece because I'm not. <laughs> so I might just leave them like that for now instead of messing with them too long. But yeah, I could make them look a little bit better. Maybe in the next stream. There we go. And then we could do the thumb. No, that's not going to work. Right here. This is what we want. Oh, too big. Too big. Yep, too big. Okay. Right there, that's what we want. Right, we'll fill in this back side a little bit. The back side of the thumb, give it a little bit more definition over there, smooth it out. Just to build up a little bit of definition back there. There we go. 
A little bit more. A little bit more. All right, we'll smooth that out. There we go. All right, that'll work. I think, I mean, the hand's a little bit bigger than I had anticipated, but uh, it's not horrible. Maybe a little bit over here it is. Not too bad for a first try, though. All right, I wonder if I can actually take that and select that and flip it around. Copy, flip, paste. Boom, right there. That's what I'm looking for. Huh. There we go. Oh, and well now I kind of want to take that whole arm and flip it. Huh. I wonder if I could do that. Let me try it. Oh no, it won't let me, like, maybe I can, oh yeah, okay, I can keep going right here, and then, oh, but then I'll accident, it's okay. I'm going to grab some stuff accidentally, but it's, it, I'll just copy and paste it off to the side and clean up everything I didn't mean to grab. I'm like painting the select tool, that's sweet. Whew, this actually requires a lot of concentration for Cout. <laughs> I know it, it doesn't look like it's that big of a deal, but like to, because you're trying to select certain things without touching anything else. Oh, you see? Well, I just touched that. And all without letting go of the trigger. So in like one fell motion, I'm trying to do this. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think I got it all selected. I don't think I missed anything. I got I know I got some extra stuff in there, but okay, now let's try to copy flip paste. No. Mm, flip. Better. Better, 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 better. Okay, let's move that guy out of the way. I'll bring that right there. And then erase all this other junk that doesn't belong there. There we go. Why do the same work twice if I can get away with doing it once? If nothing else, I'll just grab these pieces individually and change them around to reorient the body how I've already made it so that it doesn't look too separate. Okay, there we go. There we go. Hey, welcome to the stream, Killasaw. Hell yeah, real life friends. Oh yeah, my real life, my real my homies, my crew. Got Domi, Killasol, and Metal Bud all in the stream today. I know some of you guys are working. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me out today for this uh, stream test here in Masterpiece VR. Hell yeah. And welcome back, Trilogy. Okay, now I'm going to cut that, paste it. And I kind of want to paste it. I don't know. Realistically, I want this hand like this, I think. Okay. Does that look about right for the hands? Yeah, it does. Okay, so then now I'm going to come and I'm going to select all the rest of this that is not oriented properly. Oh, okay. I should have done it like this. Oh, and I messed it up again. No, it's all right. And I'll cut that out. 
paste it back. I don't know about right here. Well, let me stand him up right. Okay, about right there. That looks about right. Oh, what happened with that shoulder? I don't know why that shoulder looks like that. I'll fix it though. Okay, and that forearm needs to come up too. I'm using a lot of techniques that I'm not used to right now, by the way. So I apologize if like it looks noobish. I'm not used to these. I'm still getting used to it. Still figuring out ways and techniques that I like for this software. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try that. Let's cut it out. Cut it out. Here we go. Right there, I think. Right there. Boom. Okay, and then I'll just fill this in back here. And smooth it out. Smooth it out. Sorry if it's all off mixed reality. I'm trying to keep up with it as well. Oh, I see some stuff floating around over there that I don't like. Get rid of that. All right. Something else? Nope. No artifacts. No artifacts. Okay, good. All right. Let's uh, let's define this out a little bit better. I don't know what happened here, but I don't like it. All right. Well, then we'll smooth that out. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Look at that. There we go. I like it. I like it. I like where it's going. I like where it's going. Okay, let's get some more muscle definition going on here. Let's fill in some pieces, fill in some blanks. Uh, I don't have a back going on yet, so let's go ahead and get that back going on. Draw these shoulder blades over here. The rib cage is about right here. Placement of that, that should be about right here. There we go. Put these ribs tucked under here. Those ribs are stretched out. These are tucked in. There we go. And then let me get some abs going on. Actually, let me get some pecs going on here. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay. We're going to draw a, a layer about right there. That looks about right. And we'll draw another one about here. Okay, and then we'll smooth that out. As a matter of fact, let me add some more volume here. Okay. 
I'm not very good with ad adding this definition yet. Um, so now I'm kind of seeing, okay, what does it look like when I try? And then how can I, I'll, in my review process, I'll be thinking about how I can improve that. Yes, it is Sylvester Stallone. It's uh, Rambo from First Blood. What's up? No, it's not. It's supposed to be Ryu from, or Ryu from uh, Street Fighter. I always mispronounce that. I think everybody does. But I've actually heard it uh, on their live action films and they usually call him Ryu. And those try to be, it, it seems like they try to be accurate. And I really, I don't know why I'm adding all of this because I planned on putting him a shirt. <laughs> I plan to put it, I plan to put a shirt on him. There we go. Haha, <laughs> Domi just trashing your art. No love. <laughs> <laughs> that was from that was from Kill Us All Dome. <laughs> Hashtag no love. <laughs> no love. Uh how you doing today, Kill Us All? Getting in any trouble over there in PUBG? Oh uh, yeah, for those of y'all who don't know, Kill Us All, one of my best real life friends. Hell yeah. I talk all the time, all the time. we go that's not too bad there we go better 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 trying to finish oh trying to finish off the walking dead dude i need to catch up on the walking dead hey welcome back to the stream so uh slow cool uh kill us all which episode are you on dude i was I, I, no spoilers but i was on uh i think i think i went up to the season uh, the episode fin uh Sorry, the mid-season finale, and then I I kind of uh, I kind of fell off. All right, these shoulder blades definitely need to be more. Let's shrink this so I can see it. There we go. And we'll smooth that out. There we go. That's a much better shoulder blade. All right, now let's do the same thing with this one. There we go. Oh, this is actually looking much better than I expected it to, to tell you the honest truth. Oh, season seven, episode uh, episode sixteen. Nice, 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 nice. All right, that's pretty legit, dude. I'm a big fan of the series. Like we always, sometimes we'll hit like a little bit of a hiatus, especially when we're catching up. Uh, well, during baseball season, it's hard, but uh, but yeah, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to binge watch all of those as well. I think we're on. Uh, season nine right now i think so you're not too far behind all right i actually kind of like where this is going i should probably save oh my god nobody freaking nobody reminded me to save let me go ahead and let me go ahead and do a save <laughs> i could have been working here for like almost two hours and just lost all my work oh my gosh i need to remember to save i zone out Ugh. whoo Oh, I got I actually did. I got real scared there for a second that I was gonna lose all my work. Hey, welcome MRFer. <laughs> Two JZ fires. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Uh cool name, cool name. All right, let's see here. This actually needs to be smoothed out more. 
It's too thick, too thick right here. No, maybe not. Maybe, ah, you know what it is. It's too thick. Let's go ahead and erase some. Yeah, welcome to the stream. Checking out some uh, some masterpiece VR in mixed reality today with uh, with the live client. There we go. Yeah, I got to remember you, you you know you actually joined us right when I was hitting a panic attack. I forgot to save. <laughs> All right, there's those. Take a quick little smoke break. All right, yeah, let's actually I'm going to take a, just a second here to look at my work and yeah, if y'all have any questions, feel free or any feedbacks, definitely feel free to to leave them in the chat and uh, so I know, I know, I know. I zone out a little bit when I start getting creative, but uh, I'm definitely here for you guys. You got any questions, comments, concerns, feedbacks? Definitely get at your boy Falaboo. All right, that's not too bad. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I still need to fill in a couple of places. I'm actually thinking about this. Is almost finished. Like the the pants are not going to take very long. There's very little detail in there. The feet are not going to take very long, and then the uh, the fireball that I'm going to do here is uh, is also going to take not very long. <laughs> Almost done. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're on the uh, we're on the final stretch here. I think. Hey, how's it going, Purple Man Eleven Twenty Two? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Taking a quick little smoke break before we get back to work. Apologize for the pause and the cause. Been working on this for about two hours now, checking it out, learning. And we're on the final stretch. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Who's with me? Let's get her done. All right. Oh, wrong one. Made a draw. Here we go. Mm, Got to build up those muscles. He works out. You can tell, right? Let's smooth that out a little bit. I'll tell you the truth, I probably erase a little bit right there. Smooth that out because I can fill it in. Fill it. I'm gonna fill it in again from this side over here when I come up, but I want to leave a little crevice of a gap right there. Right there, perfect. Just a little break in his uh, in his muscle tone right there. All right, let's tone it out. I mean, let's smooth it out. Smooth it out. I might actually need to erase some of this. I didn't like that a whole lot. All right. Right there, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. There we go. Let's smooth that out. Smooth it out. As a matter of fact, I need to do a little bit more erasing right here. And then we'll smooth it out. Oh, shit, no. Smooth. Circle. Go. Get her done. There we go. That'll work. We'll erase a little bit more here to cut some definition and smooth it out. All 
As a matter of fact, we need a little bit more right there. Or a little bit less. Something. We need something. Something's happening right here that needs to change. Okay, now right here. I think we just need a little, just a little Adam's apple right there. But then we'll erase some, some of this, some of this stuff down here. Let's smooth it out. Let's smooth it out. I love this smooth tool. I use it very often. <laughs> there we go. It makes me look like I know what I'm doing, kind of. Maybe a little bit. There'll probably be somebody there on the YouTube channel comments that tells me, nope, you still don't look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Funny, 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 funny. All right, there we go. I think that's looking a lot better. Let's see. Let's let's take a step back. All right, that shoulder definitely looks way – well, it is. It's pulled up, and this other one's kind of stretched out down, but still it's, it's too much, too much. Let's shave a little bit off. Still? No, because it does. It looks like – I mean, I feel like it looks like it should. Maybe this one just needs to be thicker or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That is definitely better. So I'm gonna start up there and go right there. Okay. No, that's too much. Too much. We went too far with it. I'll smooth all that out. There we go. That's looking better. All right. Not too bad. I don't know what it's looking like in the mixed reality or if the mixed reality is even worth it, but I mean, it looks pretty dope to me here. All right. Here we go. Let's erase a little bit. I don't like that right there. We'll smooth it out. Oh, no. It's okay. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, FedEx. Oh, hold on. Be right back. Sorry about that. Got to answer the door. Sorry about that. I'm back. No, it wasn't FedEx. Somebody was inquiring to buy one of our uh, livestock cages outside. <laughs> yeah, I know you probably wouldn't think, but uh, you probably wouldn't think it because of how much time I spend in virtual reality. But uh, we some country bumpkins out here. What's up? Living in the living in South Texas. I live that ranch life. Raise goats a couple times a year. Raise rabbits. Looks like you're fondling a clay doll. <laughs> All right, that's exactly what I was going for. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and add this guy some pants now. Um, as a matter of fact, I want to change the let's recolor. Let's recolor these pants to white. Well, this let's just recolor all of this to white. There we go. It's all white real quick. Because his pants are going to be white. And I might have, I might even, I might have even drawn him a shirt. I think I was planning on drawing him a shirt at one point. I don't know why I didn't. Reuse to buff for a shirt. Everybody knows that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Let's draw some more.
As a matter of fact, no, I'm going to leave that there. Okay, that's cool. Let's draw another line. We're trying to draw the definition of the leg muscles here. And really there is, there's a little bit of a, uh, like this shouldn't come out that far. We're gonna redraw this now while we're here. There's like a little bit of hip that should be there that I didn't draw in originally. There we go, much better. I'll draw his butt. There we go. Oh yeah, this is starting to look badass. Like I was not expecting for it to look this good when I started. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I know there's probably some professionals who are gonna watch this later and be like, oh, that's so scrubbish, but I don't care. I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm having a great time doing this. Oh, too much. It's right here. I'm trying to go for the package. The package is right there. <laughs> There we go. That's better. Okay. There we go. Much better. And for right here, we'll erase some of this because I want for it to kind of dip in. There we go. Much better. Much better. Much better. All right, we're almost done, almost done. Fill in the gaps now. And then I'm gonna draw the feet and then I'm gonna add some special effects and then I think I'm gonna call it. I'm solidifying the lines that I wanna keep. There we go. Draw these leg muscles in now. There we go. I like to draw this uh, this knee right there. Here we go. Didn't like that line though. That's the knee. All right. Man, this is so cool. To be able to freaking create 3D models like this is so cool. And the thing is, is that I could have I could have drawn this guy. I probably should have drawn this guy in T-pose instead. I might do that. I could have drawn it better, and then I could have animated it elsewhere uh, and posed it in this position elsewhere. But if nothing else, it was very satisfying to draw it in this medium. 
like this in this pose. Kind of drawing like thick thigh muscles there. There we go. Hey, welcome back to the stream, Scope Games. How you doing? How you doing? Almost done with my sculpture here. Hey, kill us all. If you can still hear me in the stream, do you know, does, does Ryu have a black belt or a red belt? I believe it's black, but in his standard skin where he's like this, but with the red headband, does he wear a red belt or does he wear a black belt? Oh, where's red? Badass. Thanks, dude. Ah, man, that's mad. That's why I love my friends. They, they know all the shit that I'm into. <laughs> the, he's into it too. He knows what's up. We're like fountains of useless information of things we love. Oh, it is black? It is black? Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I couldn't remember because I think he also has a dark gray suit where he, raised, where he wears a red belt. But I couldn't remember which was which. Sorry, I was thinking headband. Yeah. <laughs> Same here, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to draw him a black belt on here next. Hell yeah. Couldn't remember. Don't forget. Oh, yes. Thank you for that heads up. As a matter of fact, that's why I drew these hands so thick. I was going to put the red because uh, he actually has armbands and handbands. I am. Dude, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for not letting me forget to do that. I would have been kicking myself in the butt for like ever if, if I had posted this video and I forgot to do those handbands. Thank you so much, man. For real. For real. I appreciate that shit. I had completely forgotten. I'd already moved away from the hands, but that was something I was planning to do. Woo. Near miss right there. Near miss. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And say, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and save again. Let's go ahead and save again. Right now, before I do anything else, let's go ahead and save again. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't crash my stream. It's pretty uh, resource intensive to save scenes here in Masterpiece VR. It's technically 3D modeling. <laughs> Anybody who's familiar with 3D modeling is, used, is accustomed to uh, incredible save and load times <laughs> for their 3D models. All right, let's make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And uh, this was just artistic discretion to do the, the pant legs like bell bottoms. I like it. I don't care. And I'm probably, I'm going to change the shape of them. I'm just kind of filling all of this in with, with a volume. All right, looking better, much better. Should have been using a bigger ball. All right. And I like leaving some of these uh, imperfections in this because it's it is it's supposed to be cloth. So the, like really the only place where it should be smooth is around where the muscles are tight. Everywhere where it's hanging, it should have like a little bit of you know randomness to it. 
Mm, I feel like Ryu does squats. We're going to give him some more butt here in a minute. As a matter of fact, let's go and give him some more butt right now. We're going to give some butt cheeks. Butt cheeks. He's going to have big old butt cheeks. There we go. Hey, six finger fist. Uh, are you using Open VT with Liv in the corner screen? Yeah, I'm actually I'm using the Open VR plugin for my main view, and then I'm using the Live Client Compositor down for that little box down there on the on the right hand side. Yep, you're absolutely correct. Yes, sir. You are. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to assume you're a man. You might be a woman, but yes, uh, with respect. <laughs> Whatever the gender may be, with respect, uh, you are absolutely correct in your assumptions. Yep. If you have any other questions, like I am an open book, I love to I love to talk about this stuff. Yeah, feel free, feel free. There we go. smoothing all this stuff out to make it look a little bit more like cloth instead of uh, a shell here. <laughs> there we go. Actually, no, I want that all the way down to the bottom. There we go. That's better. And this, I want to erase some of this off. I'm going to smooth that out. And I want for there to be a ball back here. And I will smooth that out. Actually, no. I want two balls back here. I'll smooth all of that out. There we go. It's looking a lot better. Race cube. Right there. Get it. Boom. I'll smooth that out. Smooth that out. And his butt is too round now. I'll smooth that out. Blend it all in. All right, now we're going to add a black belt. Oh, and we got to remember to add the red uh, hand bands. Yeah, hand bands and belt and feet. It looks like that's. Oh, and then special effects. Okay, okay, okay. Let's smooth this out. All right, belt. Let's get this belt on here. Black, let's brush, draw, uh, basic. Okay. Because he is a black belt. That makes sense. He's not a red belt. He's a black belt. Oh, too much, too much, too much, too much. Oh, too much, that last one. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, I seem to like to draw better from this side. Okay, that'll work. Oh, no, that doesn't. All right, let's make it bigger, make this smaller. Go 
Let's go up the race just a little bit so that it's not coming through the belt right there. And we'll smooth that out. Actually, like that. Oh. All right, there we go. Get that brush back. And we'll draw his little belt waving. There we go. There we go, that looks awesome. Okay. Now we need to do the hand pads. Let's do the hand pads. Let's go grab the color from his headband so that it all stays matching. Got it. No. Back over here. There we go. Okay, got it. Okay, now I think I can actually get away with just doing a cube here. Let me see if I can use some of these guides. All right. Uh, I don't know how to change it. I know I can change the shape of my tool. I just don't remember how. Oh, there you go. Okay, that'll work. <clears throat> All right, let's actually just draw a red hand pad here. Oops. I thought I sampled that color. I guess I didn't. Oh, well. There we go. Let's do it again. And then I erase that one. There we go. Okay, let's erase this other one. Better. All better. Okay, now we will select that. Hell yeah. Okay. Select it. Cut. Paste. We'll measure it about right there, about right there. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and make this a little bit longer. Nope, reset. Hmm. Let me just try to go with regular shapes. Draw. And reset this. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, just flatten it a little bit. And then, boom, get it like that. Okay, that'll work. There we go, much better. There we go, much better, much better. And I don't remember what color the band is that holds them, but uh, I guess I'll just make it red as well. Oh, having trouble getting under there. As a matter of fact, let me make it bigger. That'd probably make it easier. Yep, sure is. There we go. Okay, now we got that wristband, and then we need uh, like a forearm band, right? About right here. That looks about right, about right there. Uh, 
about right there. And I know my resolution is going to leave a little bit of discoloration there, but it's okay. I'm willing to I'm willing to accept that for now, cause that looks dope. It does look dope. What's up? All right, let's do this again. Let's do it again over here on the other side. Oh, and you know what? There's a band that comes across right here. Let me not forget that. Oh, no, not that one. Like this. I'll go this way. Right there. And then I'll smooth it out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Those are my Overwatch commands. I'm not doing Overwatch right now. Though. I should probably change that to my poly page whenever I'm doing this stream. I think I've mentioned that to myself enough times to where I'll remember. I have a terrible memory. It's the biggest, one of the biggest reasons why I stream. It's because I'm afraid I'll forget. Okay, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. He's very, very bulky, but I don't even mind. I don't even mind. All right, let's go back. Let's do it again. Oh, shoot. No, that's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to draw. Uh, right there. All right there. All right, that's cool. It's a little bit smaller than the other one, but it's still cool. It's also the backhand. All right, let's get it done. Let's get it done over here on this side. As a matter of fact, I can see how this needs... Uh, uh, well, no, you know what? I think it... Let me erase a little bit right here. There we go. Let me smooth all that over. I just didn't like how thick it... Oh, that looks even worse, though. <laughs> I'll just leave it like that. Uh, maybe it's that I need to build it up a little bit more down here. Something is looking off, and I can't put my finger on it, but I have a feeling it's down here. Oh, well. Oh, well. It'll have to do. I'm not going to be a perfectionist. Not today. I'm going to try. I'm working on I got, I got some issues. I'm working on it. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Um, let me get my color picker back. Color pick. Color pick that. Yes. Now give me my sculpt shape. Give me my draw. Give me my cube. And give it to me in the same orientation that it was. Good job. Good job. Oh, no, that's not the same color. All right, let's try that one. <clears throat> here we go, here we go. All right, that'll work. There we go. All right, then we'll shrink that a little bit. I'm trying to get around this wrist here. Much better, much better. even though the color is getting a little bit everywhere. I 
I can always recolor that a little bit later. Okay, let's go ahead and shrink. I mean, smooth this. Smooth that over. Oh, I still need to do the, okay, my bad. My bad, I was forgetting, my forgetting, I was forgetting. I can hear it, I can hear it already. Don't forget the other armband. There we go. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a step back for a second. Oh, I'm starting to get some cramps now. I've been working on this for a really long time. What are we going on? We're going on about two and a half hours now. Yeah, sorry about that. I get very, very, very zoned out when it comes to creativity. Like, that part of my brain just completely takes over. Okay. Oh, and then we need the handband. Don't forget the handband. Okay. Dang it. I always do that. There we go. That'll work. Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? I think his butt still looks a little bit too big. So let's go ahead and fix that. And average that all out. As a matter of fact, I probably need to shrink this. Too baggy. His pants were too baggy. Now let me smooth it. There we go. I got a little bit of open hole right there. I'll fix that. I'll fix that. There you go. There you go, little hole. As a matter of fact, we didn't fix that. Let's fix it again. Oh, it's that it's the wrong color. Darn it. There we go. Oh, it's because it's taking the actual shading. Oh, okay. I gotcha. All right. That'll work. Okay. Let's add some special effects. And then, I, oh, we need to do the feet. Let's do the feet first. Okay. Let's do the feet first. We're going to need that skin tone back. I'm not going to do anything special here for the feet, just big toe and foot. smooth it out before I start building it up more because I'm going to build toes out of this little part right here. Okay, that'll work. Let's get some toes going on here. This is a big toe. There we go.
As a matter of fact, I'll just do a big old ball here on the as for the toe. That'll probably be the best thing right there to just do like that for the toes. Is that too big? It is. It's way too big. All right, let's shrink that. As a matter of fact, we'll just erase and do it all over again. I like to get my proportions right, so let's go ahead and I'll make it. Uh, let me finish drawing the toe right here. Boom. There we go. One, two, a little bit smaller. Three. Oh, no, that's not enough. Not enough toes. I mean, not enough space. Okay. Start over here. One, a little bit smaller. Two, a little bit smaller. Uh, three, a little bit smaller. Four, no, still. And it's only got four toes. That's not good. That don't, that's not cute. All right, let's see here. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Five toes. We got with five toes. We got one with five toes. What's up? All right, let's see here. That's a big toe, but it's okay. Everything else about this dude is big. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and draw a little bit. I fill that in a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we got some toes. Now we got some toes. We'll smooth that out. Sweet. There we go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And then we'll draw a little bit more white. We'll draw a little bit of a, a little like a fold coming over the foot to give some dimension to that clothes that's hanging there. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll smooth it out a little bit, just a little bit, just so it looks natural. There we go. Smooth it out. All right, let's do the same thing with the other foot. Oh, the other foot's actually hidden. You can't even really see it. But you know what? We're gonna. I know it's there, and you know it's there. So let's go ahead and uh, act like it's there. I'll start with the toes this time, though. Really? I should just select all of these. Boom. Selected. Copy. Paste, flip. <laughs> Where does it go? Which way does it go? Um, I think it goes like this. I have no idea. I'll just try to do it again. Select. Sphere. I'll just go ahead and sphere all this. Sphere, sphere select. Okay, that's what I want. Okay. I'll try to copy it. Copy. Paste. There it is, and then we'll flip that. Better. 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 Okay. And we'll actually shrink it a little bit. Uh, about right there. Oh no, I have to erase that now? Shoot. Oh wait, no. Yeah, that, the foot was too big. Let me go back and erase it. Alright, I'll try to paste it again.
There we go, that'll work. Now let's fill in the gaps. That'll work. All right, I think that's good. I think that about wraps that part up. <laughs> All right, let's uh, actually take a little bit of the eraser right here, though. Cube shaped. Trying to smooth that out, but really only on the top end. Okay, that'll work. I was doing a little bit of smoothing over there, trying to get everything to look right. That'll work. It's a little bit off balance, but not too bad. Not too bad. All right, let me go ahead and save this. Then I'm going to add some special effects. Well, not special effects, but I definitely want to add the fireball. The iconic fireball. All right, so let's try to add that here. Let's do it. Let's do it. And he still doesn't have eyes, but uh, I'm so bad at eyes. And I think my resolution is too low to do eyes at this point anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with a light blue. Um... There we go. Hey, welcome to the stream, Cypher. How you doing? About to finish up my little my little reuse sculpture here. All right, let's go with some brushes. Let's go with some basic. And we'll go dark. We'll go dark with it. That might be a little bit too dark for that. We'll go with the ghost for that dark. No, we won't. Soft. There we go. Soft is what it is. Okay, then we'll go a little bit lighter again. And we'll go with ghost. Wow. As a matter of fact, no, let me do a, um, let me draw a line. All right, now that I know how to do that, let me go back and try it again. Too thick, too thick. Perfect. I know some of those are hard to see, but it's because of the way the brush is. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go back with a different color. Oh, you know what? As a matter of fact, let's go back with that same light blue, but go with unlit. Uh, as a matter of fact, we'll go with a little bit darker of a blue. There we go. 
And then what do we do? What do we do? Let's draw some more fire on here. A blob? Does blob work? No. Draw works. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. I think we're pretty much done, except that I don't. Uh, I think I did too much. I did too much here. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. Not done. I want to be able to see his hand back there at least a little bit. Let me make those rays a lot shorter. Draw a line. Ghost. Or soft. Soft? Let's try soft. Yeah, we'll do soft. There we go. And then I'll do ghost over them. Much cooler. Much cooler. There we go. Much cooler. Go with ghost over this one as well. All right. Hell yeah. Ghost over all of them. Oops. But from an outer perspective. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and save this. I think that's going to go ahead and wrap me up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and save it. Nice. You know what, cancel. Let me write, let me write, let me go ahead and tag this up a little bit. Oh, uh, that's too thin. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's my little 3D artwork for the day. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I appreciate all the company in the chat. For those of you still there, even if you're just lurking, checking it out, I really, really appreciate it. That's going to go ahead and wrap up my time here. I'm going to go ahead and finish up. This is, uh, I present to you my Ryu from Street Fighter, created here in mixed reality using Masterpiece VR and the Live Client. What do you think? Pretty dope, guys, huh? I like it. Hell yeah, and I get to stand right next to him. What's up? Hadouken. Let's go. Come on. Side by side Hadoukens. Let's go. Let's go, Ryu. Side by side Hadoukens. Hadouken. Hadouken. There we go. Hadouken. Hadouken. There we go. Hell yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. And I think it looks great in mixed reality. Let me chill out with him right here. I want to take a, I want to admire my work for just a second. Boom. Let me chill out here next to him. Let me get behind him even. Oh, this is so cool. Let me get him over here. Let me chill out with him on this side over here next to my signature. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let me drop it down. And I'll actually take it up to the camera as well. <laughs> Oh, that's too cool. Look look at my little Ryu toy. <laughs> oh, I love it. 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 It came out so good. Let me get to go ahead and get a good first person perspective here of it as well. Oh, I did. I left one. Oh, 
Oh no, I thought I left one ray, but I didn't. Okay. Yeah, so this is what it's going to look like. This is my Ryu. I designed and sculpted this pretty much freehand, freestyle. Had never tried it before, never practiced it before. I'm not very good with the tools. Uh, I kind of just derping around, having fun, doing what I think feels and looks right at the time. And this was the final product. I had a lot of fun doing it. I know the face is still, oh, those lips. Those lips are freaking horrible. I'm going to have to do a lot more work to this face before I would say it was done. But as far as did I have a good time doing it? Did I accomplish what I set out to accomplish? Did I test what I intended to test? Well, yes, the purpose of this uh, of this stream was to test Masterpiece VR's mixed reality functionality using the Live Client. Uh, test successful, I think. It ran pretty well with the exception of a hiccup or two in the beginning. And also throughout this test, I got to check out a lot of the tools in Masterpiece VR to see if I can uh, do some little cre uh, character creation designs, which, I mean, I did. I know it's not, it's not whatever. It doesn't follow any rules, but I like the way it looks, and I had a whole lot of fun doing it. I feel pretty proud of it. Uh, I, might, I might export it and throw it up on my poly page. We'll see what's up. Hell yeah. So, well, I guess that's going to go ahead and wrap up my time. <laughs> Yeah, so if you, if you want to see more of this, though, you want to see more VR stuff, even not just creative stuff. I'm into a lot of games, and I'm starting to get back into creativity, and I'm starting to get back into game design, trying to merge the two. Uh, you want to see more live on Twitch? Definitely hit me with a follow. Uh, turn on notifications. Follow Boo with Twitch TV. Uh, you want to you're seeing this in my archive on YouTube. You want to see more as I upload it. With YouTube, I only try to upload the. The, the good stuff I you know not not just the good stuff but like if I did a test and the audio came out bad well then I try not to upload that one to YouTube uh, so twitch I use for like my live in the moment stuff uh, I kind of just leave my archive of things that I think came out well on YouTube uh, you want to see more on YouTube hit subscribe turn on the bell you get notifications you want more updates on what I'm up to just about daily Get at your boy Falaboo on Twitter. Falaboo on Twitter. Hell yeah. Well, that's going to go ahead and wrap up my time. This has been Eddie on the Falaboo channel streaming to you from inside of Masterpiece VR. Till next time. Take it easy, guys. And thanks for all the company in the chat. I really appreciate it. Seriously. Thanks a lot, guys.